Good morning, Guardians! What's going on? J-Pot in the motherfucking house, bringing you guys some PvP Drifter Clash action. We have a few things to talk about today, guys. I've got a few things to ramble about. I've got a few things to possibly even speculate about. But before we get into all of that, enjoy the sweet PvP B-roll that I have provided for you today. Got Willy Boy in the house. Um, his good buddy, I'm just going to call him Ken Doll. Uh, but yes, fantastic match of Clash. Um, I'm rocking the Zalo Supercell and the Conspiracy Theory D. Rocking the Titan Sunstriker class. So, enjoy the B-roll. We absolutely go on a tear. This match is absolutely not even fair. And um, with all of that out of the way... Got a few things to talk about. I mainly want to go ahead and discuss a few things pertaining specifically to Rise of Iron. And I have to go ahead and first and foremost put out this disclaimer. I think this is really important for all of you to know this before I go any farther. I have officially taken over a year off of Destiny. This is my first time back. I am happy to tell everybody that I am back. I supported a lot of Destiny content here on my channel about a year ago. I think my last video was is is I think a pro, is around October, and um, it was right around the Halloween. Taken King came out. I, I did Taken King twice, and I I don't know what made me uh, take the hiatus um, that I I did for Destiny. Let's th let's think about what came out a year ago. We had uh, Elder Scrolls Online. Uh, I really got into that pretty pretty gnarly. Um, Fallout 4, okay, so so there was a lot of games coming out that kind of grabbed my attention and I really just didn't have time for Destiny anymore. It wasn't, I didn't have time for Destiny, it's just, there are other greener pastures out there, you know? I, I had almost 800 hours into Destiny and I like I said, I did the Taken King raid twice and I just hung it up. I had other games to play. But now that Rise of Iron is coming out, I am absolutely ecstatic. Okay, let's let's go ahead and, and, and just really quickly, let's break down Destiny Rise of Iron and what it all contains. All right, the, the brief description is, um, in old Russia, the wall is breached. Lord Saladin's nightmares have come alive to haunt the plague lands. Light the fires of the Iron Lords and cleanse the land. Now, a few of the things that's coming with this Rise of Iron DLC expansion. We have a full new story campaign. We have new armor and weapons, new raid, a new strike, a new playable zone and social space, a new crucible mode and maps, which is, I think, deemed supremacy, and also the new enemies, which essentially it looks like Fallen met the 300 Spartans. It's, I don't know. But um, <laughs> you, if you've seen it, you probably agree with me. But but yeah, so there's a lot of content coming with this Destiny Rise of Iron standalone expansion. Uh, this expansion will set you guys back at around 30 bucks. Now, let's go ahead and break down this expansion. We, first, first and foremost, the raid. We got a new raid, guys. I personally, I think Crota was one of my most beloved raids I, uh, to this day i still love the atheon raid uh the most out of all of them it was just so perfect it was just absolutely perfect with the mechanics and and just everything that atheon and and that raid on ishtar sync had to offer that raid i still think was the best crota just was really near and dear to me and then taken king came out and i and, and it's not that i'm not impressed with with taken king i just I don't know. I, I just wasn't... I can't explain it. I just... Bleh. You know what I mean? You ever felt that way about something? Bleh. So that's kind of how I felt about Taken King. You know? Bleh. But the the Dreadnought and and, 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 the, and the Taken King raid was... was is, and still is amazing. I haven't done a raid yet. Okay? Literally, I just came back. And I'm really wanting to do a raid for the Taken King. Uh, JRB... Last night, we did a challenge of elders, my first ever challenge of elders, and we knocked out a 90,000 scorecard in 15 minutes. And to be specific, we got 98,000, and you can go over on my Twitter page 
uh, at JPOT Gaming. If you guys don't follow me over there, I'm very, very active on my Twitter. I like to, to hang out with you guys, uh, post pictures, post event updates, etc., etc. But but yeah, so we I, I, I was near 100,000. And uh, I'm uh, very unfamiliar with Challenge of Elders, but I had a blast. It, it was just the two of us. Just the two of us. We can make it if we try. Just the two of... No, anyways. So, um, it was JRB and I, and it was the grenade kill uh, uh, double the points. So, literally, it was just a grenade throwing simulator for 15 minutes. And it was awesome! I haven't had that much fun just throwing grenades in so long it was just something I've been missing hanging out with the with the crew hanging out with the the homies you know running these raids together you know running these elder missions together uh, I, I, I've missed it so much and and the best thing that I've missed the most is the PvP I haven't had proper PvP in over a year and let's just say my PvP skills haven't gone far um, I'm, I'm absolutely clutching it. I'm killing it every day. Every day I'm hustling. But but let's just say that I'm glad to be back. The new Rise of Iron has a lot to offer. Uh, the raid mainly, I, I, I just a quick speculation. Uh, I think it's going to be one of the best, or excuse me, the biggest and longest raids. I think on date, the long one of the longest raids I think is about an hour. And uh, I think this next raid, they're really going to push the longevity of how long can a raid really take. And I'm really looking forward to it because you guys know those raids, man. You know, it's, it, it might take an hour, it might take 20 minutes, it might it might take you three hours on a Friday night because old j Pot can't get his head out of his ass. You know, that, that happens. It happens. But um, yes, so I'm pumped for Rise of Iron, hashtag the hype rise, the rise hype. Uh, ready for rise hashtag ready for rise. That's a good one. We'll use that one hashtag ready for rise um, But yeah, I have a lot more to talk about this gameplay was just only so long But um, yeah, you guys I want to hear your thoughts about the upcoming rise of iron expansion Are you guys going to get it and also if you guys are pretty active on the destiny community, please hit me up I'm, I'm kind of looking for a crew to run with. I'm looking for a dependable crew that I can kind of kind of ask on a short notice. Hey, let's do a raid. Okay, we're raiding. You know what I mean? I'm kind of looking for that crew. That and I really want to do a raid. I haven't done a Taken King raid in so fucking long. But uh, so that's what I'm doing today and getting hyped for Rise of Iron. Until next time, I'll see you guys in the galaxy.